altar call is good but it's going to take beyond altar call to keep yourself for the Lord keep coming there are 70 more persons keep coming keep coming one of the things that you need to know as you're kneeling down please can you listen to me can you listen to me how mature you are we know your maturity by the content of your prayer what you pray shows how mature you are or not so prayer is number one that's one of the things that will help you to keep yourself but after prayer there are other things you need to keep yourself one of it is accountability you will make this covenant but you have to keep your life accountable to someone that can hold you accountability will help you in your journey of purity maybe you are here you have also lost your virginity you can come to the altar I don't think the call is only for virgins I believe the call is for those who want to live pure for Jesus I want to tell you that accountability is one of your greatest weapons for staying on fire in this last day there must be someone in your life who you are willing to share your weaknesses with and you can confide in that will help you to stand. If you are the only one standing all by yourself, we will not know where you are making mistakes. You will break this covenant, I tell you. But that's not your portion. So one thing you must do is that, number one is that you, after consecrating your body to the Lord, must intentionally keep your life and your body under accountability. That's number one. Number two is that you have to break that ungodly relationship now. You have to break that ungodly relationship now. We can't be done cutting covenant and you go back to his house. It's not possible. It won't work. There is no extra force, power that God will give you to resist sin that he has not given you in the Bible. And that power is flee. It's a fleeing power. That fleeing power is bigger than speaking in tongues in a condensed room. <laughs> Where emotions are running and flying out of the window. So you must be willing to end that relationship now. Ungodly relationship in your life where there is touching, holding, and everything must be ended today. And once you do that, as you're making this covenant, your covenant will stand on credibility. That everything around you is sanctified and they are going to help you to achieve that desire of intimacy with God. I want you to know that intimacy with God is easier than sin. The yoke of God is easier than the burden of sin. It is better you make this covenant now and live free than you sin and come out and sin and come out and keep going back and forth. It will affect the level of intimacy you will have with God. No matter how hungry you are, if I serve you food in a potty, a potty, I just put a new potty, and I put rice and stew and chicken inside the potty, and I tell you this is a potty. You know what a potty is? A pole. A pole. Babies used to pull inside. And I serve you food with a potty. I'm sure you will not eat it. So the level and degree of your intimacy depends on how much you are willing to sanctify yourself. And sanctifying yourself is so easy. This is the process. You must first of all do that consecration. As you do it, you must intentionally go and hang around those who are willing to call you out in your mess. And you must end that relationship today. Okay, somebody just said, but it's not a relationship. 
Any call you are expecting every day eh, is a relationship. You are expecting this call every day. And you guys go the far eh, of touching each other, kissing each other. And you know that if he, she doesn't call you today, tomorrow, next tomorrow, something will happen to you. That's a relationship. That's an undefined relationship you are in. Many Christian young people are in more undefined relationships than defined relationships. You have not said anything to her, but you have feelings for her, and she has feelings for you, and you guys are on that journey. That's a relationship. It's undefined. It is more dangerous. As you're dealing with um, sex, I want you to also covenant pornography, covenant masturbation. They are brothers and sisters, siblings. They are siblings in the faculty of immorality. You see pornography, you see masturbation. There's another one. That is the one that falls it is worldly songs, worldly music. Covenant it as well. And delete it from your phone. All of them are in the same faculty. Faculty of immorality. Faculty of appearance of evil. You have to. Another one you will covenant as a Christian woman is indecency. All of them are in the same faculty. Whatever is fully indecency is lost. Covenant it. Is it lost is the thing that feels that falls indecency. Covenant before the Lord. You also make up your mind, Jesus, I will not present you in my fashion. I make a covenant with you that I will not be, I will rather be caught dead than exposing my body. So these are the things you do. And when you pray, the hand of the Lord will come upon you. Just pray, talk to the Lord. Please close your eyes and talk to God. No matter where you are, in this of the totem, please. Please go ahead and talk to Jesus. Talk to Jesus, please. Talk to Jesus, please. As you're praying, the fire of the Lord is coming upon you right now. That's the wind of God, the wind. Like a, a mighty rushing wind. Like a mighty rushing wind. It's a garment of fire. Somebody's going to throw a towel on you right now. And it's towel of fire. 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 It's going to come upon you. A garment, a garment, a garment, a garment of fire. A garment of fire, the body of God, the body of God, the body of holiness, the body of holiness, the burning of intimacy, the burning of intimacy, the body of intimacy, the body of hunger, the body of hunger, the body of hunger, the body of hunger. The Lord is changing your taste board. 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 On that day, the great door of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, saying, If any man is hungry and thirsty for righteousness, he will be filled, as the scripture has said, out of his body shall flow rivers of living water. Let the river flow. Let the river flow. Let the river flow. Let the channels of your spirit man open up. Open up. Open up. Where there will be no boundaries. No more boundaries. Dimensions found only in Jesus. Open up. Open up. Dimensions of your spirit man. Capacity to live for God. Capacity to serve God. The capacity of holiness. The capacity to unholiness. The capacity to drag people along the journey. You will no longer be neither here nor there. You will be proud of where you are standing. And you command people into the river. Let that capacity come upon you. Let that dimension come upon you. Let that fire come upon you. Even those on the aisle. Even those on the aisle. Let that fire come upon you. There is no distance in the realm of the spirit. There is no distance. There is no distance. Let that capacity. Let that fire. Let that hunger. Let that hunger. Let that hunger. Let it come upon you. Where it come upon you that has been ignited. Where glowing tongues of fire. Glowing tongues of fire. Glow.
Glory, glory, individual tongue. Individual tongue. Tell a man for you. Tell a man for you. Your own fire. Your own fire. Your own garment. Your own garment. Your own garment. Your own garment is coming. It's coming. It's coming on a young man now. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. That's it. That's it. That's the fire. That's the fire. Your body cannot resist it. Your body cannot resist it. Your body, your body, your body, your body. That's the Holy Ghost. That's the Holy Ghost capacity. Capacity, capacity. Yes, 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 yes. That's a fire. 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 As of the day of Pentecost. As of the day of Pentecost. Hey, 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 hey. That fire is straining. It's straining sin. It's straining sin. It's straining sin. Appetite for filthiness. Go. Appetite for filthiness. Appetite for lucre. Appetite for nudity. Appetite for nudity. Go. Go. Lasciviousness. Go. Lasciviousness. Go. Go. Pornography. Go. Let the arrows of deliverance fly. Let the arrows of deliverance pierce, 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 pierce. Arrows of deliverance. Breaking yokes. Breaking yokes. Upon Mount Zion. There shall be deliverance and holiness. Deliverance and holiness. Deliverance and holiness. Deliverance and holiness. Let it flow. to break loose but I would like to say that it is very possible in fact it is easy because you are empowered this afternoon you are given the willpower your appetite just like what we said has changed you have no appetite for lust you will have no appetite for fornication you are given the willpower to say no and to run you are giving the strength to stand for Jesus it is very possible it is very possible you are giving the strength to look the devil in the eye and say, I am not of you anymore. I am sanctified. I am separated. I am chosen. I am holy. I am holy. You are giving that willpower. You are giving that willpower. And it's coming upon you like a blanket of fire in the name of Jesus. You are giving that willpower. You are giving the strength. You are giving the strength. You have the strength. You have the capacity to stand. You have the capacity to stand for Christ. You have the capacity to stand for Christ. You have the capacity to stand for Christ. Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. opportunity to cast our crowns before you in submission father we are grateful for the words that have been released we are grateful Jesus because we know you love us we are not ashamed daddy we come boldly before your throne and we ask for grace father we are asking for your grace to stand in the face of temptation Father, we ask for capacity. We ask for the willpower to run. We ask that you remind us. You remind us that he that is in us is greater than he that is in the world. 
we pray father that you strengthen us you strengthen our stand for purity not just bodily purity but mental purity father we break the yoke of masturbation and pornography we break the yoke of fornication father we destroy the yoke of sexual immorality and we say never again we say never again we say never again we say never again father we are free and we claim the freedom that you have given to us for whoever the son of man has set free is free indeed and even though lucifer the devil might try to remind us of our past to take us back to that field we stand on that freedom that is christ and we say never again we are free we are free thank you jesus we bless your name can you begin to bless the name of the lord thank you jesus thank you I want us to appreciate Mommy Jane and Pastor Dara Simi. As they go back to their seats, God bless you. Keep clapping, please. Keep clapping, please. 